I'm Alessandra Barrett, Senior Content Editor for JOC. I'm speaking with Gordon Down, CEO of the New York Shipping Exchange. Thanks for joining me today, Gordon. Thanks for having me, Alessandra. Great to be here. So for those that don't know, how does NYSHEX work? So NYSHEX provides a digital way for carriers and shippers to make contracts. Uh, the technology makes it very clear what is being agreed to. And not only that, the technology also checks all the shipment milestones to make sure that what was agreed is actually what gets delivered. What needs did you see in the market? What led you to develop NYSHEX? There are two challenges with traditional contracting. The first thing is that traditional contracting is inherently manual, usually involves some form of face-to-face -face negotiation or email back and forth. And then, of course, it's a manual process to file with the Federal Mar Maritime Commission. These present opportunities to create efficiency through digitalization. The second challenge is that contracting, generally speaking, um, doesn't involve a lot of trust. It's many contracts that are entered that never get fulfilled, and that's unfortunately just become almost an industry practice. So trust and transparency, they're, they're big issues in the industry right now. What does NYSHEX do to support more trust in the process? NYSHEX does two things to solve this problem. The first thing is that the contracts that are entered on the exchange are very specific. So both the carrier and shipper know exactly what has to be done in order to fulfill the contract. Clear dates, clear volumes, clear prices. Um, so it makes it easy to fulfill. And the second thing the technology does is it actually tracks each contract by milestone to make sure that every event takes place on time. And if something's running a little bit late, the system actually warns the shipper or the carrier to say, okay, you've got a short amount of time left before this booking window closes. Don't forget to make that booking. So NYSHEX had a lot happen in 2017, from investors to uh, FMC approval. Can you give me a little bit of detail about what the year looked like for you? Yeah, so we were very pleased with the outcome of 2017. The first thing is, as you mentioned, we have five new investors, uh, three carriers, Mostline, CMS, EGM, and Hapag Lloyd. We also have one of the biggest shippers in the world, General Electric, that joined us as an investor. And lastly, Goldman Sachs, which is one of the leading banks in the world, bringing a great deal of finance and exchange experience to the table. I think the other thing you mentioned was having the approval from the Federal Maritime Commission. And that was a real milestone for us because what it allows us to do is establish a mechanism for standardizing digital contracts in a way that's fair and balanced between carriers and shippers. And we're very pleased to have that approval and that ability it is to set contracting standards for digital. So the final milestone for us was we actually launched in the second half of 2017 and a substantial number of containers were contracted through the exchange. And I think more important than that was we were able to achieve a success rate of 99.6%, which really goes to show that carriers and shippers can fulfill the contracts under the right conditions and with the right support from the technology. Great. Now, how about 2018? What do you have up ahead? So we're excited for what 2018 holds for us. I think 2017, a lot of our time and effort was focused on building up the supply on the exchange. We now have six carriers represented. That's Merskline, CMAC, GM, Hapag Lloyd, Costco, OCL, and MOL. And that represents a total of 52% of the world's capacity. It also covers three all three of the major alliances. So I think we've done a great job of building up the supply in the exchange. Uh, in 2018, really our focus is to build up the number of shippers that are using the exchange. So to make that possible, we're expanding on the trades that are currently uh, active on the exchange. And we're also looking to make some improvements to the technology and the way that the contracting is done. Great. Well, thanks for taking time away from TPN to sit down with me today. Thanks very much for having me. I appreciate it. I've been speaking with Gordon Downs, CEO of the New York Shipping Exchange.